Hey guys, I'm Gio Kwan and I'm one of the owners of Barbell Brigade. I am currently, I guess what you would call the CEO of the company, and that is basically the overseer of every single department that makes Barbell Brigade Barbell Brigade. So we currently have Barbell Brigade Apparel, as you guys can see here. Uh, we have Barbell Brigade Gym, and hopefully some of you guys have already visited that. If not, check it out. We also have Barbell Brigade Performance, which is all our supplement lines that we've been releasing. If you haven't checked those out, please do so because they're top-notch quality. Um, and, you know, with that we have other smaller departments uh, like our ambassador department. We also have, within those departments, we have everything that uh, make the departments come to life, if you will. So within the apparel uh, department we have like a marketing team, right? Uh, we have a, a photographer, we have videographer, we have a director, a writer. So there's so many different roles within every single one of these departments. And it is my responsibility to make sure that we're all hitting our goals of whatever it is that project may be, right? So if we're talking about apparel, for example, if I'm trying to make this sweater, I just have to make sure that my team figures out what it is that we're making, right? So we have the designated person that's going to be making said product, we'll say the sweater. And I just have to make sure that that is completed from A to Z. A being the thought, Z being it's in your hands. So everything in between, I'm just making sure all of that runs smoothly. So it's actually been really cool seeing this company grow because when we first started back in 2013, I guess that's when it was official and that was open to the public. But before we did that, so I'll say 2011, it was just Bart and I who had this wild idea of uh, starting uh, or just having his own home gym. That led to me going, no way, we live in like a garage at this moment. That led to him going, okay, well, what if we get a container? I was like, let's do that. Asked a bunch of friends, they're like, hey, we wanna do that, can we all chip in? So that idea grew into something bigger than any one of us could have ever imagined. Um, so that was like eye-opening for us because we were like, oh wow, there's a demand for a gym? Maybe we should do that. Oh, but wait, we're freaking broke. So then what we decided to do was basically a crowdsourcing or crowdfunding, if you will, before that really became popular. We made a YouTube video asking all of our fans, or actually telling our fans of our crazy idea of opening up this gym. And then we said, hey, if you guys want to contribute to this, um, uh, like sign up. You know, we don't have a gym yet, but sign up for now and you guys have a lifetime membership. So to our surprise, it actually worked and people started getting memberships to a gym that didn't exist. And we were like, oh dang, this is tight. So as we were doing that, we started the clothing company so that we could supplement you know, the money that we didn't have to start this gym. That started doing really well as, uh, as well. And mind you, we started off on YouTube. We never started a brick and mortar uh, business. So we had absolutely zero idea what we were doing. So it blows my mind now that seven, almost eight years into this, we have a team of like about almost 25 people, different departments. We have a marketing department. We have an ambassador department. We have an apparel department. We have um, a supplement line. Like there's just so many different things that when I look back at it, that I'm like, how did two dumbasses like Bart and Geo create something that people love right now? So. Yeah, it's been crazy. When I became a mom and gave birth to my son back in 2017, I had swore to my husband, uh, Bart, and just anyone who knew me that as soon as my son is born, I'm gonna be a full-time mom. I didn't want anything to do with business. So I did exactly that. I took two years off. Barbob was left in good hands with Bart and um, our other partner, Aaron. And yeah, I, I just became a mom. I wasn't thinking about Barbell. I was just doing my thing. And then come, January 2020, I started just kind of seeing life differently and I started really uh, having different aspirations other than being a mom. Not that there's anything wrong with being a mom, I absolutely love being a mom, but I also love being an entrepreneur and I love business. So when I really started thinking about it, I really wanted to come back. So at the end of January 2020, I attended a company meeting and that's when I announced that I would be officially coming back. So all of February 2020, I started slowly learning the ropes again. Because it was a two year hiatus, I needed to do a lot of catching up. So I was really excited to be back, learning all the ins and outs about the business all over again. And now come March, everyone knows where I'm getting at. March 2020, 
This whole pandemic happens, the world shuts down. I'm forced to work from home now. At first I was like, I should be fine. I'm catching, I'm catching on, I'm, I'm learning the ropes again. Uh, I'm just trying to like listen and just absorb like all the information that I possibly can. Man, it was so hard because not only was I trying to learn the ropes of this business that I once knew that is now completely foreign to me, all while being a full-time mom with Taika, it was super rough. It was me waking up at four in the morning, making sure I understood what every single department and every single project demanded and making sure that I was facilitating whatever I needed to facilitate so that my team could complete and uh, accomplish all its goals, all while making sure that I was finished by 7.30 a.m. to get my son, to feed him, to change him, to play with him a little bit, keep him stimulated. And I had to do that for like the first, I wanna say, four months of being in, in uh, on lockdown. So it was a very, very challenging time. Like I, you see these guys right here? I'm proud of them because they were earned. Because <laughs> I definitely wasn't sleeping, but it really taught me that whenever you really put your mind to something, then you just make it happen. And then you look back and you're like, holy crap, I can't believe I just did that. So working from home now, luckily I have my mom back because this is a healthy environment for her to be back. So she is now watching Taika full time for me. So I wake up, I feed my son, she comes home, she takes over. I come to this room, my guest room, AKA my office. Uh, I lock myself in here away from my son and I just log in. I see all the different projects that you know we have coming up that are due. I check in with every single department. I Skype with pretty much uh, every single uh, head of that department just to make sure if they have any questions. I want to say about the first three hours of my day are honestly just answering a bunch of texts, answering a bunch of emails, answering a bunch of questions that we have on a shared business message board. So that's the first three hours, right? But then because I'm also, I guess, an influencer, if you will, uh, I also am creating content so that I can promote whatever launch it is that we're coming up and that can easily, easily, just me posting on Instagram easily can take about an hour. Once I do that, then I go into every single project again, one by one, and I make sure that we're on track uh, of just hitting our, our deadlines. Cause that's the worst thing, especially now to miss a deadline. Cause if you miss a deadline, that means it sets everything back, which ultimately means you don't get paid on time, basically. Uh, so then once I do that, then is when I can start making projections for the future. Where are we trying to take this company? What goals are we trying to achieve for 20, the end of 2020 or fourth quarter 2020 or the beginning, the first quarter of 2021? So I start looking into the future and seeing what it is that we need. Do we need new staff? Do we need to get let go of staff? I'm just kidding, we don't need to let go of anyone. Um, uh, what are our next launches gonna look like? What are the next moves gonna look like? Are we trying to you know, expand to another state? Are we trying to open another gym? Are we trying to bring in another supplement? So it's a lot of planning the second or the later half of my day. Since we actually started this company from our garage house, if you will, it became really easy for me now at this time to be able to separate work from life. And that took me, honestly, you guys, it took me at least a good 10 years to learn how to keep that balance. But I'm so proud of myself because now as soon as, like I give myself a deadline, I'm work, I'm up and answering emails by 8.30, 9 o'clock, and right at five, that's it. Doesn't matter if the world isn't burning down, you don't, I don't need to reply. So once I see 5 p.m. hit, I'm shutting everything down, closing all my cute little blinds, I walk out of my cute little door, I lock it. Well, I don't lock it because then I can't come back in here, but I close it and that's it. I don't think about work anymore. And I go and I play with my son, I give him my 100%. We, we mainly just swim. If you can't tell, I got really, really tan. And yeah, that's all I've been doing. Swimming and chilling and just watching my son grow up and just being part of his development. And it's been the best. It's... So how do you stay motivated when you're at home and it can be so comfy? That is a great question to ask yourself. And I'm sure you're asking yourself that. One thing that helps me all the time is one, Get out of your PJ. Get up, shower like you're about to go somewhere, shower like you're about to go to work, uh, or get ready like you're about to go to work. 
and just walk straight to wherever your work is, right? So if it's in your living room, do that or wherever it may be, but just make sure that you get ready because it does something to your psyche when it's like, okay, I'm out of my PJs, I'm not comfy anymore, I'm getting ready to get wild work started. Another thing I would highly recommend is set a beginning and an end, end uh, time for yourself. So if you're like, okay, today I'm only working from nine to five and I'm only taking one hour of uh, lunch break, do that, stick to that. Don't sway from that, make sure you stick to that. As soon as it's time, if the world isn't burning down, it can wait, trust me. Um, the final thing I would say is the night before or even the morning of, do a to-do list. Like what is it that you wanna accomplish that day? Do you wanna answer 10 emails? Do you wanna, um, do you wanna, I don't know, get five new clients? Like set a goal for yourself and try to hit that every day. But don't make it an extravagant goal. Just know what your capabilities are and try to hit those. So thank you so much for tuning in and I really appreciate you. Thank you for your time. I also wanna just let you know that we have released our latest performance, which is our multivitamin, so check it out, please. It is, that's gonna be the theme of this video. And also, we have some dope gear for you to cop, like this hoodie, part of our underdog collection. Make sure to check that out as well. And thanks again, see ya when I see you.